speak. So, you know, let's look at it as on here. So we're covering first BTC. Look where, where we're at the minute now. So we had really the all time high, uh, which was yesterday. And what I mean by that is so Bitcoin has not been at this specific level before. You know, that was this was the all time high level before. So we've really broken out of that from where we was back in April there. So we tapped an all time high. You know, this literally happened last night or maybe the night before. And we and we pretty much tapped 67K, 66 to 67K. Uh, and that was like the new all time high. So, you know, it was just it's just absolutely insane to see. It really, really was. And, you know, we, we expected this to happen. We knew Bitcoin would run up again and we knew that it wasn't going to stop at levels it was at. So we had that all time high. And then it's very expected that once you're at an all time high, usually when that day finishes, you start to see that selling off. You start to see the retracement. Uh, and that's very normal because you notice that people are obviously taking profits. So this is liquidity. This is coming back down now because everyone's sold out of these levels. So this is very, very normal to happen. And when we touch on a little bit of the projects later now, be mindful slightly of obviously if you're willing to invest some capital. I'm not a financial advisor, but if you're willing to go into some of these projects, just be mindful that we're in a retracement phase at the minute now. And this could be small. It could be the small retracement to here and then a dramatic push up again, because, we, you know, we're predicting some bigger numbers than what we're seeing for the end of this bullish cycle over the next couple of months for Bitcoin. Some of the educators that are calling out 250K, some are seeing 100K BTC by the end of the year. So, of course, no one knows exactly where it's going to go to. But the upside, the upside potential is definitely there. Let's let's just say that. So we're having a bit of a retracement here now. So, yes, of course, if you want to hedge yourself, if you're not into some of these projects yet, I definitely don't see no, no harm in getting in 50, 100, whatever sort of capital works for you. Um, but, you know, if you are going to go one, two, three, you know, we're talking multiple thousands. I'm not a financial advisor, but just observe the market. Yeah, because we could have a retracement, guys, down to some of these levels here. You know, we ran up on the daily from the lows to the highs. We can see some of these levels here to find somewhat of a support before we run up again. Yeah, because we've had a massive bullish run. So on the technical standpoint, you could look at that, that yes, we are due a retracement back down to some of these levels, find support, and then we run up further again. Yeah. So just bear that in mind. Be mindful if, if, if you're going to hedge in. So that's Bitcoin there. Very, very similar on Ethereum as well. Yeah. This was the all time high level. You know, people are calling that Ethereum is hit an all time high. I'm, I'm not quite convinced. It's very, very close. Look, there was that all time high before. Uh, and this is where we whipped up to today. But, you know, nevertheless, some broker feeds uh, display it differently. Um, some price values are different on that. And, if, you know, some feeds are different here. So, yeah, if we hit an all time high, fantastic. We, we pretty much tapped that 4.3, nearly that 4.4K. But either way, it's looking fantastic. But you'll notice again straight away. Let's come back out to the daily. We'll see from the wick on its high today. We're starting to have that pullback now as well. Yeah. So we could see some retracements again from the low to the high. We could see a 50 retracement. We could see a 61.8 in line with some support that we've got there. Yeah. So this is obviously where we're at in the market now. But I see no harm. Then, you know, you've hit all time high. We've got a pullback now. So you could look at that a slight discount on the daily. Yeah. If you was look at that there, pull in another fib on your hourly chart from your low. So you're high looking at your retracement. This is a good entry where the market is sitting at now. Yeah. So just just bear that in mind when I when I introduce these next bits to you, where to get the coins, how you can keep them safe and just how you can get into some of these projects here as well. So they're they're they're, they're basically going over BTC and Ethereum. I'll jump back over to a little bit later on some of the coins that I think are really big to get involved with. The projects are powerful. The technology behind it is great. And these, you know, these projects have got legs, basically. They've got something behind them that gives it gives it its intrinsic value that it is it's going somewhere, it's moving with the space, and it's leading it as well. So, you know, where did, you know, some of you may ask yourself, you know, you know where did we get this type of education? You know, who did we learn it from? Who are we plugging into? And, of course, all of this is actually found on our platform. So if we literally just go to so the Go Live schedule now and we scroll down, 
come into the DCX section. So if you're on Platinum or HFX or another package at the minute, get that little bit more of investment, jump onto your lead and just maximize everything that we do. So if you, you're familiar, familiar where the DCX Academy is, go into that go live section here now. And then these are some of the educators that I'd recommend watching. If you want to trade BTC and learn more about the market, Crypto Picasso is fantastic. But an overall, overall go to educator and someone who will show you completely how to build a portfolio. And that literally means you investing into the cryptos and altcoins and, and having a collective, collective group of cryptos that you're investing into there. So come into Curtis Cobain sections, you know, if you're around our crypto community, um, yeah, we just we just absolutely rave about this gentleman because he's put all of us onto this. Of course, Dan Lewis has, but this is where the source is, you know. So if you're thinking, you know, you listen to Dan Lewis every week talk about the market and, and he's observing it and giving his opinion. He learned everything from this gentleman here. So you can't you guys can do exactly the same as that as well. So where I'd recommend you to start is go down to the favorite sessions and start with the mandatory videos now. All right, so priority number one, this is a mandatory watch on the crypto security 101 there, yeah? So watch that, so it's gonna show you how to set up basically your crypto in a secure method, and we're gonna go over this this evening as well. And then you're gonna come onto this one, you know, you're gonna come onto this app section, so, so you're not actually, you know, keeping your crypto in wallets on your phone. You can use an app called Blockfolio and that's going to keep it safe for you. Yeah. And then just keep going through those priority videos. And then you can start actually making your way up to understand about specific projects, say the likes of Cardano. Yeah. You can understand about Polkadot. So these go in depth, in depth into these projects and what they are and what's powerful about them there. All right. So that's how you can maximize the platform there by plugging into the go lives, getting the education. Yeah. And if you haven't already got an app called Swipe Point, you know, that that is a crucial one to actually get and stay plugged into as well. Because with that Swipe Coin app, you're getting trade ideas to actually leverage trade it. So just like we do with Forex, we're taking the same trades on the crypto side with the same method of putting them on. Uh, and also, you know, you're getting signals to actually get portfolio entries as well. So if Curtis Cobain sees a great project, he's hit a retracement it's new to the market and he's been researching it and he thinks it's got great legs he'll give that out on the application that we have so get swipe coin downloaded and uh yeah just 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 hold fire for those notifications stay plugged into it all right so let's move on to the crypto security part now this is where you're going to start within your cryptocurrency security and this is having a proton mail set up so i'm just hoping all of you guys be able to see this right can you see this okay Iden, yeah, yeah, fantastic. So, so the Proton Mail, this is what, what you want to set up in terms of your security. So, in an ideal sense, instead of using Yahoo or Gmail or any other email service that you use, you can utilize Proton Mail because it's got a higher level of security and how it's set up to almost hide your VPN and when you're logging into it as well. So, you know, this is the best advice to do the crypto security in terms of your email system. You know, yes, if you want to use Yahoo and Gmail, you can do that as well. You know, it's not like you can't set up these exchanges without that. But if you want to start it properly and you really want that high level of security around it, and I'll tell you that the, the topic of security in crypto is really, really important. So get a Proton Mail account, you know, set up and downloaded. You can access it through your PC. And then when you're setting up these exchanges that I'm going to show you, you can use your Proton email uh, to actually get into that. So you're logging in, you're signing up, you've got an account. Very, very simple, you know, very user friendly to interact with. Just, you know, it's a great platform. It just looks like this, just as it would uh, any other email system. All right. So there's a little bit of setting up the initial part of the security. Uh, and then what we're going to move on to is actually some of the exchanges now. So you've got your email. You're going to be signing up with that, along with some of your other details. Now, this is one of the first platforms that you can actually utilize. Now, this is one that I bought, you know, probably most of my cryptocurrency on that. Uh, and this, this one goes by the name of Coinbase. Uh, it's, a very, it's a very popular exchange. It's very user-friendly. 
it's usually very good at linking up to your banks and, and doing transactions and withdrawals. So, you know, the only potential limitation is with Coinbase is some of the fees. You can be sometimes paying six, eight percent, sometimes a little bit higher on that. Um, but if you're looking for that easier option, you want it more user friendly, then Coinbase is a great exchange to do that with. You know, Coinbase does have uh, not so much another partner, but literally a side off of, of, of Coinbase, you know, where you have Coinbase Pro, which is which is like a bit of a, a faster trading platform, which still uses Coinbase, if you like. It's more of a, a trading and uh, it's got some leverage involved. So it's, it's trading with your portfolio building in one, if you like. So it's got that mix there and the fees are a little bit lower as well. Yeah. And the good thing about it, once you have a Coinbase account, your Coinbase Pro runs alongside that there as well. So if you want to get into grips with that as well, you can go onto the Coinbase Pro and use that as an exchange. You know, yes, you can't get all of the altcoins and all the crypto coins like you can say Coinbase or Binance, but you can get your Ethereum and BTC and some of the others uh, and then actually use different platforms to, to swap out and get the coins that you need. So that's covering Coinbase. And now I would say the second most biggest platform, which is probably you know, one of the biggest exchanges out there, uh, is actually Binance. So this one here, yeah, it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a detailed platform or website as well. So you can actually, you can trade within Binance uh, to take trading positions. Uh, you know, they're releasing an NFT section. You can keep track of all the, all, all, all the, all the projects that we have. And it's another just just another great platform that you can utilize. So very this very the same as Coinbase. Go through the similar system where you're registering for it. You're putting in your details. You're linking your bank card. You know potentially you're putting in say your confirmation of ID and you know national insurance numbers or sometimes like that because you're almost setting up like a bank account when you when you're actually getting involved with these exchanges because they're still linked to somewhat of, of a central system. So they need to they need to know somewhat of who you are and you are who you say you are and you're actually actually eligible to set up these type of accounts as well. So Binance is a great exchange to use. The fees are lower on this one than it is Coinbase. So it just depends on your preference and which platform that you get on with both. You know, I have literally all of these exchanges uh, that I'm going to show you today. So moving on to this one. So this is like the third most popular one we use and we often we often use kraken sometimes when people's bank accounts give them issues with coinbase and binance we have to go to like a third source which is kraken but it's still a great great exchange it's been around for you know one of the longest it's one of the oldest uh, exchanges out there but the benefit of using kraken for me uh, is with certain coins like polka dot and kusama uh, they're, they're two of the projects that, you know, most of us are actually involved with or some of us are. Uh, and the benefit of those two there and using them on, on this ex exchange is that ultimately you could stake it there. So if you're not familiar with what staking is, it's just like you having like an ISA or a savings account, so to speak, with the bank. You know, when it's in that ISA or in that savings account, you get that higher rate of interest by leaving it in there yeah it may still only be like one percent or something crazy so you know the staking is very similar with on an exchange where you have your polka dot you have your kusama you keep it within this exchange now and because you're holding it with them and it's staked you're going to get almost like a percentage annually for holding it within that account so they're usually around like i think it's like eight to twelve percent depending on which project it is uh, and depending on what staking option you have it on. So Polkadot on the, on the, on the Kraken exchange, that's where you're going to get your, your, your highest staking amount in terms of a percentage um, than any, any of the other platforms. So I have my Polkadot on there uh, and I have some of the Kusama as well. So that's the third exchange that you can get involved with. And as we're going through this now, guys, like if you've not got some of these exchanges set up, look into setting up one. Just go, you know, go for one of them that is there, Coinbase or Binance. Start the process and going through it because sometimes it's it, it's quite easy, not almost easy, but uh, you can fall into a bit of a rhythm of just like jumping on the calls and looking at the information and taking it in. But 
you've allocated the time to jump on the call to, to learn about it and, and take action on it. So you know, sometimes just do it, do it straight away on the call in the background. So then you're moving forward with it. All right. So so there's some of the exchanges. Now, let's let's jump back over to, you know, some of the coins that, that I actually want to go over. Now, these are some of the ones that I think almost like a top five or six. Uh, and if you want a top five or six, you know, these are ones that I would you know, somewhat recommend to get into. And these, of course, aren't my direct re recommendations straight away because I learned this from the educators on the platform. Um, because say Curtis Cobain, for example, he has a coin list that he releases. So within that coin, coin, coin list that we have, that allows you to understand the ones that he's getting into. You know, then you can go away, do your own research, and then you can make a decision to get into these as well. All right. So these are the projects here, guys. You know, and there is categories depending on what coins they are. For example, we have like a high cap, we have mid cap and low cap. So say, for example, if you had a thousand, yeah, you have a thousand pounds that you wanted to put into some projects. You wouldn't want to just put it all in a low cap coin. You want to put most of it in the high, the medium amount in the mid cap and then a the low amount in in basically the low cap coins. So how that I was always explained to me how to almost diversify this is, you know, on your mid caps. Sorry. All right. So start off high cap, high, mid, and your low. So on your high caps, there, that may be between anywhere between like 150 to like 300 on that one there. And then on your and then on your low caps, you're looking like zero to 50 GBP. And then on your mid, you're looking like 50 to 100. Yeah. So that's how you could set it up. All right. That's how the setup is. That's how you want to initially go off the numbers. Yes. If you've got the higher amount of capital and you, and you want to put it into it, then that will dictate, you know, follow the similar suit, and, but use that for the type of capital that you want to invest. All right. So these are some of the, you know, the most popular projects. Uh, and most of these are actually on uh, like the high cap coins. So BTC, Ethereum, you know, you got Cardano and Polkadot. Yeah, potentially some of those are still on like a on a mid cap there. You got Chainlink and you got V Chain there. All right. So yeah, use use the capital that you have and make a decision on how much you want to put in and 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 go off this type of setup to to almost gauge where you want to put into into each one. You know. So they're some of the most popular projects and they're the ones that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm some of the biggest fans on these ones here. Yes, you got XRP, um, but I'm not the biggest fan on that one there. But, you know, each of their own. Do your research on these product on projects, um, fit, feel, feel over some of the background, look into them, and then you can make your own decisions on if you want to get into those or not. You know, and just really quickly on that one, you know, understanding where to do some of your research, you can be web using websites like CoinGecko. All right. So you could be using CoinGecko. This is where all the cryptocurrencies are all listed. They're all ranked. You know, so Bitcoin's at the top there of Ethereum. You now Cardano is up there. Solano's doing great. Polkadot. So you've got all these all these coins right at the top here. And then you can go through the categories and you can do, you know, you can do some research into these as well as you go through. So if we just click on to Bitcoin now. And we scroll down. It's going to tell you information about it and tell you information about it what how big the market actually is how much is traded within it the highs and lows of their day the btc's overall price the trading volume the market cap so yeah lots of details that you can dive into you know what's great about these bits here it can tell you where the communities are you know the wallets that support it so a wallet is literally like yeah where you keep your money uh, in your in your physical wallet, like your level one, we have wallets within crypto as well. And we'll actually come on to those different types of wallets so you know which one you can utilize depending on where you're at with your process. So that you can utilize CoinGecko there. It's a great informational source uh, and to really track a lot of coins. So we covered some of the some of the, the projects that we could be potentially looking at. 
Now, once you've actually got them on the exchanges there, so, you know, it's quite simple to do. So if we went to, once it's all set up, you literally just go to the buy section. You know, if you're looking to get some Bitcoin, you know, this is where you'd have it here. Say you want hundred pounds in Bitcoin. Yeah. So there we go. So say if you wanted hundred pounds of Bitcoin and you want to pay it with a certain amount. Yeah. So you attach your Bitcoin, you pay with, and then you select what you want to pay with. So basically what card or, or what, what bank you want to connect it with there. All right. So there's that setup that we have there. And then it's going to put that, it will drop into your portfolio and then it'll be good to go there. All right. So this is this is going to lead me quite nicely over to Exodus now. So Exodus is a form of form of wallet where you're actually going to going to store these coins. So it's quite important that once you invested into these, you don't just leave it on the exchange. You know, yes, of course, we've got some of them staked. If you're staking Polkadot, you're staking Kusama on Kraken, then, yeah, that's fine. We need to leave it there so we can stake it. Um, but if you, you've got high amounts in your exchange or even any amount in there, you know, get it onto something which is called Exodus. And this is going to act like a, a hot wallet for you here. So, you know, how it's going to look when you have the application up, you know, this is how it's going to be set up. You're going to have your assets in there. It's going to show you your balance, um, you know, your highest balance, so 24 hour change, uh, what it's worth. You know, it's going to give you lots of information. You know, and then you can explore the apps as you go down. All right. So this bit here is this is your overall assets. You go into this and then you can look at them individually. This bit is the exchange. So say, for example, you've got some Ethereum in there, but you want to exchange your Ethereum to some Cardano. So, yeah, you can actually do that on the Exodus platform. Yeah, you can exchange your ETH to Cardano. And then you've also got some Cardano within that portfolio. All right. So there's a great info here on the website, how, how, it, how it all works, how it's all set out. And it's literally simple as that. And then obviously how you want to get it, you want to go to download now and then you can see the versions. So with this mobile app, I would I would definitely stay away from this. All right. Um, you know, basically, we, we don't want to we don't want to open up the layers of, of security that we don't need to, basically, because these mobile phones, as great as they are, they're, they're very easy to hack. They're very easy to get inside of so to speak if someone basically wants to get into your phone and they want to look at your exodus app and they want to see how much is in there and they want to connect into it it's going to be a lot lot easier for them to do that than it actually actually be on your home um home wi-fi which is almost protected there to somewhat it has a security layer behind it and it's actually in your exodus already on your laptop so you've got that extra layer of security now on your mobile you could be you could be literally walking down the street. Someone could have a device in their pocket um, and it could pick up your details of your iTunes and they could log into it. And as soon as they're into it, you can make transfers. So um, I don't say that to scare you. I just say that to like, like please, guys, just <laughs> stick with it on your desktop. And that's the best place to get it. I'll share something with you shortly that will allow you to still track what you're doing. Do you know, I just even say it now while we're on the subject. So. You know, you can actually download an app called Blockfolio from the App Store. And this will almost, you know, this will almost mimic what your account is actually doing. And what have I mean by that? So if you've actually got, you've got currency, you've got projects within uh, your Exodus. Once they're in there, you link that up to your Blockfolio app and then you can see basically what they are. Yeah. So this is how Blockfolio is. Yeah. And this is how the app looks. So every time you buy, say you bought, bought Bitcoin now, a hundred pounds worth, you paid 66,000. Well, that's what the, that's what the current rate was of it. It was 66,000. So it logs the price of where the market was at and how much you have. And then it's in there. So as it fluctuates now, it always remembers that. So this is the app that we use to look at where our portfolios are at without always going into say Exodus. Yeah. So that's the block folio app. I recommend downloading that. That's fantastic. So jumping back over to Exodus, go over to the desktop version, download that. And then once you've downloaded it, 
you have your icon on the screen you click into it you know you save your passwords and you keep your passwords you know somewhere safe and then and that's how you're going to get access to it you got your passwords it's secure and only you have you know all this information to get access to it there so that's basically how the exodus worked there and you know that is that's pretty much what i want to cover today guys i want to keep this call you know really short and sweet i want to keep it you know informational i want to keep it engaging to you and i want you to just just to go away and take action on some of this